So I'm actually walking down the canal road, and this is a road we typically stop a little farther down here, but uh, thought I'd get out real quick and just wander around. There's a huge crop field next to me, and bears a lot of times are in these fields feeding. Looks like they're growing corn, I believe. Yeah, never been on this stretch of D Canal. I thought I'd just get out, and take a look around. Always makes the exploration a little more interesting. <laughs> the cars probably. He's probably watching the cars doing this. Like, where are they going? It's like we're on a bus. Is that a bear way out there? Like really, really far that out is there. A bear. Oh, yeah, the big black dot. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> you want another one? In the shallow. You want chips? So this area over here, this field, typically other times a year we've been, or other years, it's been semi-filled with crop. And we've seen bears in here on multiple occasions. Sarah. There's a bear. Sarah. It's tucked into the woods a little bit. I can still see it. I told you there was a family that lived in there. All right, so that makes how many? Seven? I think that was the seventh one. And not your typical find out here in Pungo, but right across the way there is a, a, a dust tornado. And it's literally picking up uh, some size there. And it might have just withered away. I can see it uh, forming it well into the air there. Hand me the binoculars. There's a bear back there. If he's looking at me. It's a mom and her cubs. Go back. And if you look in the side view mirror there, you can see the bear back there. You see that? So it let us get pretty nearby before it tucked into the woods, but it went right right directly in the, that patch of the woods, hid away. If we drive forward, it'll probably come back out in a few minutes. Ew. That's some bear scat.
did it, it kind of acknowledged it. No, it was like... You knew the way of the bear. <laughs> You're one with bear. He, like, bear. gave me eye contact for, like, five straight seconds. That is so cool. We're well over tw- or ten bears now, right? Yeah. We need to see, like, the big ones that we all saw. Well, this is the... This is the time. We've had quite an unbelievable day of uh, bear spotting here at Hongo Unit. I know we've seen at least 13, 14 bears. Um, a few close-ups of bears that it, we actually could drive up pretty close and zoom in and get a nice tight shot. So, And hopefully we spot a coastal giant before we head out for the night. Pretty good um, first time to Punga for Reese. I'm glad she could come here and see all these bears with us. Um, wouldn't classify any of them as a coastal giant, but that one was actually had some pretty decent size to him. Really big head as we got to sit there and watch him feeding on some plant life. He was really uh, throwing down on it too. Yeah, definitely have seen a lot of bears here today. Perfect weather, um, perfect temperature here at the Pungo unit. <laughs> 